good start with the girl at the second place finish and a uh, great run from Stephanie and Tab. It's a pretty good day for him. Yeah, really exciting, you know. Um, we know I said I said on the, uh, the coach's show, um, every time that Stephanie Martinez steps up, we know what she's going to do. She's a national qualifier for us and she's going to run fast. She's fierce. Uh, she looked locked in today, so I knew she was going to have a good day. Tabitha Dynas was a big step up for us. Last week, the race just didn't go the way she wanted. Um, she was our forerunner. Um, we worked on some mental toughness this week, and, and she really, really laid it all out there on the line. And, um, you know, us and Tabor are going to be kind of battling for that third, spl third place spot in conference this year. So they got us last week. We had them this week, and the biggest reason was Tabitha Dynas stepped up. Um, but all through, um, we had Christina Tripp, Daniela Goana, Cindy uh, Schaefer, and Reagan Rhodes. All, all of our girls, compared to last week, um, just were in tune and, and locked in for the whole race. So it was really exciting to see. She said this course was tough, but they thought that they handled it fairly well. And just being able to run at home was a real, was a real plus. Yeah, I know, I know, I've, I've, I haven't been as, um, or been at practice as much as I'd like this week. So it's probably been a little different, especially for our youth of our team. But I just know the excitement they had to come out and say, "Hey, this is our home course," um, and be able to get out here and run. The best thing I heard is after the girls' race, they all said they loved it. So um, we're going to be able to come out here and train on it. So we'll know this thing like the back of our hand by the time we get to conference. But there's nothing better than rolling out of your bed and coming up here to uh, come up here to Great Life. And the guys got a pretty good run out of Jacob and they had some other guys pack up the uh, good ways down the line. Yeah, once again, with Jacob Lovell, we know what we're gonna get. He's gonna be our, he's gonna be our low stick, um, but he, you know, he, he really led the guys well. Um, and, and I was excited to see him um, just, you know, get his first 8K in for the year. We hadn't uh, done an 8K in a while with him, and just to see him really welcome that distance, he's more of a miler, um, to see him welcome that distance, I think was uh, was really exciting to see. How important is it just for the kids to have the experience on this course with conference coming back here? Uh, it's it's tremendous. Um, you know, it, it, the biggest thing is they just, they know it now. You know, they, they kind of know what to expect going in. It's, it's not a, at first when they come out here, they don't, they hadn't, the guys hadn't seen it really. Um, Jacob was the only one who was out here last year practicing, so all the other freshmen had no idea. Um, so they just heard the stories and the tales. Um, so just to get through here once is, is huge for our confidence um, and just our knowledge going forward. And you alluded to this earlier, but just being able to not, to not have to get in the bus, like you say, get out of bed, go to class, and come out here and run. Yeah, it's more of like a natural day because typically we practice in the afternoon at 4 o'clock. So, you know, you go through classes and everything, and then you come out here and you get a race. So that's, you know, that's a natural um, body system, body clock that the kids are used to. They're ready to go at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So it, that's always fun.